Hello, in this video we have a nice equation 2 to the power of x is equal to x squared. What is x? So obviously you would probably say x is equal to 2. Yes, 2 works for this equation. It's at least one of the roots of this equation. So the question is, is 2 the only solution of this equation? So we're going to figure out in this video. So first of all, I have to directly bring up the graph of the functions on both on the both side of this equation. So here is the graph of the two functions. The black line is 2 to the power of x. The red line is x squared. So you can clearly say that there are three intersections of the two functions. Three intersections. Here, one is two. So there is one negative one, and, and there is another positive one. So there are two positive roots of the original equation and one negative roots of the original equation. So if you don't have this graph, so how to determine the uh, number of of roots. So I would suggest you directly uh, establish a function, a relevant function, and then different, differentiate the function, and uh, uh, you will get idea about where the uh, function increase, where the func function decrease, and uh, you will describe the, the trend of the function and the intersections. So you will be able to know uh, if there is roots or not. So I'm not going to uh, less details because that has already been talked about in my other videos you may want to check out. So let's go back to this. Go back to this equation. 2 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So we <coughs> apply the rule a to the power of m then to the power of n is equal to a to, to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of n then to the power of m. Then we have so we make x as x over 2 times 2. So the left side can be converted to 2 to the power of x over 2, then square is equal to x square. So we got square on the left side and the square on the right side. We move x square from the right side to the left side. We have this, we have this equation. So square minus square is equal to zero. So we apply the rule a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Then the equation can go to two to the power of x over two plus x. So a plus b times a minus b. So two to the power of x over two minus x is equal to zero. So how to solve this equation? So there are two cases. The first case is 2 to the power of x over 2 minus x is equal to 0. So in this case, obviously in this case, x is positive. So if you move x from the left side, left side to the right side, you will know that x is positive. Then in the second case, 2 to the power of x over 2 plus x is equal to 0. In this case, x is negative. So let's look at both cases. First case, 2 to the power of x over 2 minus x is equal to 0. So we move x from the next left side to the right side. We have this, 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to x. Then we divide both sides. Oh, we take, yeah, we take the power of 1 over x for both sides for both sides. So so we would like to get rid of x from the uh, left side. So we want to get get rid of x from left side and then we apply the rule a to the power of m then to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of n then to the power of m. So here we can get rid of x. So the two x will be cancelled and then we have 2 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. 
So what does this mean? Yeah, we guess one of the rules x is equal to two. So we get this one more time. Then you know that two to the power of one over two. So we can make two as four to the power of one over two, then to the power of one over two. So we apply this rule a to the to the power of m, then to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is it equal to 4 to the power of 1 over 4. So, so we have 4 to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And then we get another positive root, x is equal to 4. So we have already got the two positive solutions, x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 4. So let's look at the second case. So x is negative. Then we move, again we move x from the left side to the right side, we have this. Then we divide both sides by 2 to the power of x over 2. So divide both sides by 2 to the power of x over 2. Then we have 1 is equal to negative x over 2 to the power of x over 2. Then we make an arrangement. We have negative x times 2 to the power of negative x over 2 is equal to 1. So remember, 2 is equal to e to the power of ln2. So we replace 2 with this value. We have negative x times e to the power of ln2 to, and then to the power of negative x over 2 is equal to 1. So again, we apply this rule. We uh, apply this rule. So the power here, ln2 and the negative x over 2, so we have so these parts can be converted to this. So negative x times e to the power of negative ln2 over 2 times x is equal to 1. And then we multiply both sides by ln2 over 2. So the left side times with ln2 over 2. The right side, ln2 over 2, we have this equation. So up to this point, you may be asking why you are complicating the equation. Because we have to use numbered w function to get the value of x. So what is number w function? Uh, I, I'm not going into more details because this is not elementary mathematics. Uh, so a, a quick understanding of this function is that it is a inverse function of x times e to the power of x. So that means wy. So y is equal to x times e to the power of x. wy is equal to x. So we can also describe the number w function as w a times e to the power of a is equal to a. So for example, w e is equal to 1, w 0 is equal to 0. So in our case, you will see here, a times e to the power of a, a times e to the power of a. So a is equal to this part, this part, this part. So a is equal to negative ln2 over 2x. So a times a times e to the power of a is equal to, so a times e to the power of a is equal to this value, ln2 over 2. So we use calculator and we know that this value is 0 0.346574. So the question is, the question is, what is the value of the function w a times e to the power of a? And that's the value of a. So based on this, that is also the value of a. And if we if we know the value of a, and we'll know the value of x here. So we direct to bring up. So we direct to bring up the numbers w function calculator. So we put the. We put the arguments, of the function x is equal to zero point. So the, this is this number, three four six five seven four. Then we click compute and we get the function 
the value of the function, that's 0 0.265706. So this is equal to this value. Remember here, a is equal to negative ln2 over 2x. So negative ln2 over 2x is equal to this value. Also, ln2 over 2 right here is this value. So we have this equation. Then we have the value of x. In this case, x is equal to negative 0 0.7667. So we get the positive root of the original equation. So this is negative 0 0.7667. Then we bring up the two negative or positive roots, that is 2 or 4. So we, we find all three roots of the, equa uh, of the original equation. So this will bring up the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I, I would appreciate if you subscribe to this channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.